Rain Fam, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to Black Ram GX Gaming. We're here, we're live. We only think you like and share. We hit 300 followers last week. I actually might need to update the stream once we get in here because it probably won't say 300. Um, because it only updates when people are actually follow while we're live for some reason. Um, so yeah, we're uh, gonna be doing more Elden Ring today. We're in the crumbling city of Azura last week. We got through like most of it. So I really don't know what's happening beyond that, so that's the name of the title because that's as far as I know is whatever's happening here. This place is crazy. It's nuts. It's a good time. Stick around. Check it out. Uh, if it's your first time watching us, don't forget to follow. You could be the first one um, on our way to 400. It could be awesome like that. Um, drop your likes, your shares, your follows. If you're over there on YouTube, thanks for watching. Sub, drop your likes. Uh, tell me what you thought. We'll be doing uh, trivia as always. Um, so for those of you over there on YouTube or watching when we're no longer live, this question today is what is the capital city of India? Um, if you know the answer, feel free to comment it. And uh, if you stay till the end of the stream when we say the answer, let me know if you got it right. Let's go. William Harris, hello, buddy. How are you doing? You having a good time? You uh, play your wake here today? You're struggling? What's going on? Cheers. Thank you very much for the uh, like. Oops, almost lost that beer. To the phone. Ryan Montgomery, what's going on? Thank you for the like as well. Hell yeah, cheers. Yo, 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 it's time to get this hype party rocking off the tracks and get this hype stream rolling, baby. Hell yeah. Love it, love it, Ryan, every time. So, uh, how are you guys? How was your weekend? I was uh, super excited to see I got that PlayStation 1 running. Then I had questions about whether or not that the uh, laser on it actually was working or not. Because one game couldn't get through the loading screen. And then I found out it was only one game. But all my old PS1 games are in super poor condition. <laughs> I got fingerprints all over them scratches like you wouldn't believe and I am amazed at how well some of them play oh shit wait what? you can do that? just grinding those runes? yeah no kidding when you said you were up like what 3 million yesterday shocked been good got extremely drunk Saturday I felt uh, a bit buzzed over the weekend when I went to the bachelor party. It was a good time. We had a lot of fun, met a lot of great people. I honestly forgot that I had that spell ready to rock. But I think uh, the only thing that saved me from getting extremely drunk was water and food. I made sure to have fun. But how'd your night go, William? Do you remember how it went? That's a good question. Almost 4 million runes now. Why aren't you using them? I feel like the risk of losing them now is so high. I'd be so scared walking around with that many. Were you farming the crow or what? The crow is probably the best one I've seen so far. Drake Knight? That looks legit. But I found my armor for the rest of the game, so... It is what it is. I ate so late, <laughs> so I was already drunk by the time I cooked, especially, um... Oh, I ended up passing out. That's alright, it happens. Sometimes if you're out and about, it's kind of hard to get food. Because a lot of places, if you're... I might have guessed you went down to the pubs. Um, a lot of places don't seem to serve food that late. 
So, kind of good stuff. It sounds like you had a good time, though. Any wild parts you remember? Hundred percent chance I won't lose it. I don't know, man. This game finds a way of making that one hundred percent chance a reality. <laughs> I hope you don't, because I would be so depressed if I lost those runes. I think that's the only way I could uh, put it: depressed. <laughs> How far are you from the end now? Got to be close. I think I got to be close. But I really don't know. I have no idea. Oh, fudge nuggets. Um, it's hard for me in a small town as there's not many vegan options. Ooh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, what do you do? I guess you just deal with it, huh? Cross roots is where I'm farming area where... Um, Oh, for you dice. Three enemies are far enough where they can't hit me, so I shoot them with arrows. Well, I suppose that could work for now. Just don't do what I didn't forget that you have to uh, turn those bad boys in. Alright, I'm going into this with, like, way too little flasks. An uncomfortable amount. Could do a range battle. help that my headset keeps cutting out. The only thing I'll say about these Arctics that I don't like is how they don't always connect very well. Michael Payne, my man. How are you doing? Thank you. I'll use you in just a second. Oh! I tried to get behind the ruins. But I ain't fast enough. Hey, how's my main man? I'm doing good. Doing good. Surviving. Kind of. How are you? William, uh, I was at my mate's, so took food to his to cook. It was past the time. <laughs> oh. Waited a little too long to cook. That'll happen. That'll happen. That's alright. I'm gonna let die as I fall off. And that's what I'm saying. It could happen. I was just trying to drink right then and there. God bless America. These fucking birds. Probably the worst enemy in this game. Right? The birds doesn't get worse than them. Their moves are just so fast. They're almost constantly out of range. If you try to chase them down, you're not really getting in range. Any better. I just hate them so much. Oh, anyway, cheers, Michael. Thank you very much. How are things down under? How was your weekend?
massacring these things now. Shouldn't have said that. Should not have said that. I did that thing yesterday where you get older. Oh, you had a birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Hey, everyone tell uh, Mr. Michael Payne here a uh, happy birthday if you can. He's now feeling the pain of getting old. Alright, last bad joke of the day. <laughs> Just kidding. Party was okay, your partner got us a hotel and took us ghost hunting for my birthday. Oh. And you found out your wedding venue. Nice. The ghost at your wedding venue? Hey, do you what chances are uh, the enemies back at the glowing eyes that give you five times XP? Stat that increase that? I don't remember, to be honest with you. Actually, I didn't know there was one. <laughs> so, if you know, you tell me. Something the guy told us there's a drunken ghost that rep replied with I hope he doesn't drink spirits. Oh boy. <laughs> that joke is so bad, it's good. I do like it. I can appreciate a good dad joke. And that'd be nice though. All I know is the group thing that basically gives you like an extra 5% XP if you're in these certain groups that are basically just huge groups that everyone joined. Because um, I think it's like dependent on people being around you when you do things. I think. So there's a spot under that bridge. Also, where'd that dragon go? Let's see if I can get under there. It's feeling real pisky. in there. You could see it. I could try jumping, but that just feels crazy. I can see the messages and everything. Mm -hmm. Like right here, this shot, shot to the window seems the best. No, 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 no! But I landed. I landed it perfectly. Almost perfect. I'm probably gonna try that one more time, I'm not even gonna lie. Sometimes the enemy's eyes will glow bright yellow and it'll give you back down speed. I didn't know that. Zach Ward, thank you for the like. Cheers. Didn't know if a certain stat increased the chances of it happening. Happens you three times in 30 minutes. I've never attracted.
there goes the 29. Okay. Means nothing to me now. There was a time and a place, but that would have hurt real bad. I, that's why I hate these birds. Because I could, like that last run I had, easily slaughter them all. Or get absolutely wrecked by the first one. Oh, didn't mean for that to happen. Azula. I've been calling this Azura the whole time, haven't I? That's why I just named it the Crumbling City for the stream. I can never remember how things are spelled because they're not real words. Okay, one at a time. That's what I'm talking about. You son of a bitch. Levon, thank you very much for the like. How are you doing? Cheers. Appreciate you. Geronimo! I should not do that show. I really want to. There's a second bird. I hear it. Whoa! I think. Alright, so long as it doesn't get me out of mid air. Woo! I did. Oh, there was an easier way. Shit. You know, sometimes you just gotta do things the hard way. Oh my god, it's a crucible, right? Wrong one. He's coming real fast. No. Oh. oh, my God, saved by the cliff. Oh, good night, champ. I had a few lucky breaks there, thanks to terrain. Alright, let's find what was the easy way in here, because definitely jumping that window was not it. Sometimes you gotta do a little hardcore parkour and then figure out what was smarter. I didn't even see the side of them. Okay, so this was not the easier way. We were supposed to see that. I did not. 
Also, someone put no precious item ahead. Maybe they were talking about out the window, but there definitely was. That's why you can't trust messages, whether they are telling you there's a liar or not. Because sometimes the liar is the one telling you there's a liar. Just a bunch of mischief. Oh, didn't see that clip. Maybe that wasn't an easier way. I don't see any way to really drop down here. No, I don't think there was. Alright, well, let's see what's down this way if we can. That dragon's definitely going down. We'll come back to him, though. Now you can level up 16 levels. Ryan, what you waiting on? Why aren't you doing it? That's exactly what I wanted. Good night, sweet prince. I was really hoping he was going to go off the edge because I do not like those two sort of bastards. Damn it, can't go that way. So all this just for whatever is in this treasure chest. Let's see if it's worth it. For somebody it is. Oh, then there's down here. Okay. Got away from me. Can't have that. I thought I was gonna push him out. Hey, Zach, what's going on? Had to try to catch his phone for a couple minutes. Hey, I appreciate that. How you doing? out here trying to survive. It's going mediocre. I think I'm only on three deaths. Three deaths in the first 26 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. Sorry, what was that? I don't know what I said. I don't know what I said. I've said a lot of things, probably. So I'm not sure. Also, what was the point of this? There's nothing down here. Oh, that's one way to die. Jump right off the cliff. Okay. Well, let's see if I can make my way back up. You were at night. There's no night. What about this window he was gandering out? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Hmm. That sucks. I feel like this little uh, extra way I found was a little lackluster. It was kind of boring. I can't get over this place. The art here is insane. Gotta see if there's any secrets in the elevator. You know how it is. Gotta be thorough. Nothing. You never know. The candy luck. What's up, dude? How you doing? Cheers. I don't know if I cheers you, Zach. Also, cheers. Mr. Zach there was Mr. 300 on the follows. Ooh, I gotta update. 
pain to update. They can make it easy, but they don't. It's peanut butter jelly time. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly in a baseball bat. I was watching some classic uh, Family Guy clips this weekend. I hadn't seen that stuff in forever. But that's what that makes me think of right away is uh, Family Guy. Brian the dog in the banana suit. Oops. Honestly, it's probably going to be safer to just jump back. So what do I have for flasks? One. Yeah, that's not going to work. Not against that big dragon. Mm -mm. Alright, but dragon's next. I've been doing really good against the dragons. I haven't gotten uh, completely shit on too bad. Makes me think of that old video site called stupidvideos.com. I don't know if I ever saw that one. Maybe I was. I don't remember all the sites that we used to use before YouTube. But thank you for the 100 stars. Oh yeah, I have to uh, choose you again after I do these birds. I can't, I can't, I can't. They just kill me, they just kill me! All the time anyway, cheers. Thank you, bud. <laughs> Kayla, thank you for the like as well, cheers. <sighs> Stream's off to a great start. Thank you, everybody. It's um, it's going awesome. As it always does. Uncanny, I'm pinning that one up. so much I think most people who played this game could agree they're like the worst enemy in the game wedding is horse shit. Look at that. A simple, a simple bird. Basically an eagle. The size of a pterodactyl. And it's one of the worst enemies in the game. They do so much damage so fast. They're just always out of range. I'm sick of you. going bow and arrow. That's it. To the end of time. <laughs> Dragon itself isn't at full HP. It's a half, I believe. Oh, is it one of those that... Uh-oh. That runs away. Yeah, sit down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, handled that slightly better. Slightly better. Holy.
thought he was going to start moving. I didn't think he was going to keep standing still. I also wish these things would get hit by the lightning. That might make my life so much easier. Suicide bird. Alright, well, that sucks, Pete. feathers, but I did. I got them. Alright. Dragon turn. After, like, three more birds. some kind of protection. Oh, look at that. It, missed. it wasn't even at half. I must have really done a number on it in the first round. I was super intimidated by that fight. Not gonna lie. That's why I was kind of putting it off for a while. <laughs> Turns out, really easy. Stone. Getting all of these real late in the game, but that kind of makes sense, I guess. I just want to go ahead a little bit, see if there's a, a grace, and then come back and we'll check out what's under there. Across this. Alright, I guess I'll go back. I don't know how much further I'm gonna have to go until I hit a grace, so. I don't know if anything's down here either, if it just connects back to the path. That uh, took me way down. Steven Fullerton, thank you very much for the like, Chiefs. How you doing? How's your day been?
just another way down to that cliff balcony I was on. Oh, it is. That explains the balcony. So when I went down, jumping to that window, that was easy mode. I see. Best game ever? I think it's... It's definitely one of my favorite games of all time at this point, and I haven't even beaten it yet. It's so good. Probably one of the most beautiful games I've seen ever. Um, one of the most complete games that I've seen in a very long time, at least. Definitely a pain in the butt sometimes, but super rewarding and fulfilling. It's as close to a perfect game as I think I've seen. I think the relativity, uh, replayability is relatively high too, because while it's basically going to be the same game, there's some slight different choices you can make in a lot of different playstyles. Or you can just keep playing under the same character and do all those different playstyles under the same guy. fight anyone extra we don't have to I can die to any single one bird case in point Elden Ring was way better than Dark Souls 3. I believe it. I uh, actually never played it. I played Dark Souls 1 and 2 a lot. My god. Um, and the third one I got, and I think maybe I started it or something. I don't know. I guess I was like over the challenge. I'd done it all before. I was like, ah. Uh, I really want to do this again. And even when this game first came out, I wasn't super hyped. I was like, ah, uh, I watched some gameplay. It looks exactly like a Dark Souls game. I mean, the backstab, the mechanics of the game and all that are super similar. And then I watched some clips of it and I'm like, holy shit. This looks way, way better, way different. And when I saw how beautiful the game is and everything, I was like, alright, maybe I need to try it. Tried it. Just wanted to see, uh, how much I like it. And actually, I didn't even try it on stream. I started off stream because I was like, you know, how good could it be? Played it for like, I don't know, five, six hours the first day. Didn't expect to play that much. And then I'm like, oh my god, I have to stream this. Here we are. How many days has it been? Hold on. I've got... 36 stream days of this game. That doesn't count the days I played it off stream either. So I've played this for almost two months worth. Um, since I don't stream every single day. Oh, you're a little bitch. It's super addicting, for sure. That rock looks like certain death. Okay, so he just missed the rock. Also just missed the rock.
It does look like there's multiple meteors. And everyone's just bad at falling. Hmm. Well, if there's a grace nearby, I'll, I'll go down it. I'll give it a the old college try. You just have four million runes. Jeebers. Tornado looks cool. Dude, the tornado looks awesome. The first time I came, came here, because you can come here through the four belfries in Lurnia. Uh, I looked around and I'm like, wow, this place looks amazing. But, <laughs> but, I am terrified. There's tornadoes everywhere, dragons, the city's crumbling yet floating. Cliff and dragon, I assume it's on this side. Is it though? I don't think there is. This feels like a lie. very skeptical of this game I was never a fan of Souls games after a couple months after the release I kept on thinking on it and then I just went and bought it now I'm hooked <laughs> that's I think how most of us feel Ryan there was a lot of hype for it early on to be honest because I kept seeing it all over the place now I'm like ah how good could it be you know real good real good and that's the truth cheers down that cliff but I don't want to have to go all the way back through all the birds everything else here we go before I try some stupid shit like that again exactly how much I need. Once I start jumping off cliffs, it's never a good thing. Closer than I thought. Math. Not my strongest skill at the moment. Being that I'm coming from behind there, now I should be 
able to get the drop on these guys. All right, down the cliff we go. For what reason, I don't know. Okay, it's definitely leading somewhere. This seems like a totally secret area, easily missed. This can't be super important. Missing something? Well, Tor and I can't make any more jumps. And I don't even think I can get back up the way I came. Beside the Great Bridge, beside the Great Smooth, the stairs ahead of each final boss. Press the where you can turn around and go to the secret boss. First, to go to the secret boss, take the elevator back down, go outside, and blah blah blah, the trees, the platform up the door, and look over the ledge, see some sort of moves, drop off, blah 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 blah. On the floating rooms, block in the middle of the spot on the floor with no bones, and there will be a lie down front, which when interact with the Miss that? Seems like we're going to be easy to miss. Yes. 
about that. We're finding all kinds of secrets. Time is flowing in reverse. I honestly did not expect this when I came down these flowing rocks. Jeez. arena now, huh? What the hell is that? Big dragon? Two heads? This place is nuts. So he's super strong, Ryan? I hope not. Dragon Lord Platypus. Do sacks. Someone actually came up with that name. Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom quick and then we're gonna try taking him on again. He's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but I think we'll get him. Be right back. All right, let's try round two, shall we? Bum, 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 bum. Hey, Mike, what's going on? How you doing? Don't ask. 
Don't ask, don't tell. Cheers, how are you doing? And of course it wouldn't be an easy straight shot to platypus here, would it? I'm confused. What are we not asking about, Mike? the last two days. That sounds terrible. You guys aren't done picking rocks out of the fields yet? What's taking so long? <laughs> Sure to be out there planting. Ooh. Is it done though? Like, is that the last two days? Get my runes back, excuse me, son of a bitch. Okay, all those messages right here were not here the first time. This is probably one of the sickest intros, though. Didn't expect God. Probably should have been. No, I think he grows them in the water in the winter. <laughs> I guess that works too. Happening. I'm scared. I'm backing up. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's insanity. I'm gonna be honest, I'm super scared to take a hit right now without maxing my health. And I'm also scared that maxing my health is really difficult. This is one of the coolest bosses. Oh my god, I've ever seen. I should have maxed my health, huh? I had 80% of my health bar, and I didn't think his moves were that strong. That fly through move, though, is insane. I almost had him, though. I almost had him this time. The rule of three. Third try, always a success.
but he got a few to go through. Um, but they aren't as bad as the field I was in the past two days. And dead. Well, that's good at least. So the worst part's over. Don't worry, I got Dragon Lord Platypus this time. He got lucky the last two times, so I'm not gonna lie. First time, it's how almost any boss that's not an immediate pushover goes. First time, I don't know their moves, so I get caught off guard by something I didn't expect. Get killed. Second time, almost had him. Third time, I'll get him. I'm just not going to underestimate that flight move anymore and I'm going to start over chugging. That's cool, that explains the giant tornado in the middle though. Jeeves. You have your sweet peas and alfalfa field, son? Where else do you guys plant? You guys do corn or anything down there? Or? I feel like you're in a big hay area. But maybe if you don't have cows, you don't do much hay. You can still sell it, though. Let's get to it. Okay. Never been so scared in my whole life. Cornfields, the rest are cornfields. Oh. The very start the last year compared to all the rain we had. Oh, really? Was it pretty bad? Well, last year was like one of the fastest years. Oh, shit. Ah! For uh, corn and soybean planting that they've ever seen across the US. Stand strong. Stand strong. Woo! Finally got that dodge down. Oh, now he's pissed. Lightning strikes are so fucking big. First he disappeared. Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god, it's insanity! Oh, I have no mimic either. Me and him, that explains a lot. Oh, I, 
I definitely timed that right. Yeah, I'd like to think. Times the charm, baby. Let's go. Honestly, he was queuing up that fire breath, and I thought I was fucked. Oh, oh my god. I'm just gonna take a little nap. That took a lot out of me. <laughs> that was insanity. Can't believe we uh, just. You have a lot of hay fields, but no need to pick rock. Oh. Yeah, I guess you don't need to tow anything up, right? Let's get that victory hype roaring. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go! That was rough. Not time after that fight. You know, the Dragon Lord class of Dusax, uh, he just. He's so damn good. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I almost didn't even jump down there. I was like, eh, what could possibly be down there that's worth me going after? Get down there and I see nothing. I'm like, this is garbage. Came all this way, can't even get back. Come to find out that was, uh, there was an insane fight. Don't worry, to do this. Ooh. And crank up the faith and have the ultimate dragon spell. Heavy thrusting sword. Jesus. Piercing gravel stone sword containing primeval lightning, a portion of the dragon lord's power gained from remembrance. The weapon commands great power over the paltry mortal dragons of today. Thundercloud form temporarily transforms into a red thundercloud and fly through the air, then plunge down with a lightning-infused blade. Uh, hold to increase, increase the reach of the thundercloud form. That sounds insane in and of itself. Power gleaned from the remembrance of Dra Dragon Lord Placid Dusax. Transforms caster into the Dragon Lord to spew golden breath from above. The incantation can be cast while jumping. These are the dying whales of the Dragon Lord who once dwelled eternally beyond time. Once. Pretty cool stuff from remembering. Always makes a. Uh, always make a dupe and get both. I don't think I can. I think I've wasted all my dupes. I don't know what sounds better. I could use this. No, I can't even use that. I'm gonna do this just because I've been dragon knighting it up. Stone 5? No? Hmm. I don't know how this works, but that's alright. See, I was saving my last guy, because I'm like, oh man, there's probably better things to do. I see. And, uh... I wasted it, because I'm like, ah, how good could anything else be? You have my phone. I'll try and talk. I know he was given this great entreaty to craft a weapon which could slay a god. Though I can't help but think of it as a curse. A fearsome curse. But if that's the case... Oh, Smith, isn't there? Oh, look. 
Let's have the girl. She says that now my chains are broken, I'm free. And if I stay here, I will be ruined with the round table. <laughs> Why do you survive for freedom now? I smith weapons to slay a girl. And I have lived and will die doing so upon this spot. Is there any other way? Yeah, you haven't made me this weapon. And my promise to Queen. And my promise to Queen Marika. But do me a favor and do. I'm going the way of the hills of Greyhawk. Allow me to call Queen, my lord. Okay, so I've got enough ancient dragon smithing stones to max out all that shit. I got so many things I can work on for fun. Guess I'm just good for now. The sentry's torch is the only one that. Oh wait, and the sanctuary's torch. So I found this out late, but if you remember um, the snow village right before the Halga tree, where there's the invisible black knife assassins. Apparently the sentry torch will show you where they are. And takes away their invisibility cloak there. So, uh... That's my bad. I didn't know that. Not until after, so... I see. Really, the only other person here is this guy. Mm. The boss I meant perhaps is to say what do you think? Not a lot of people left here. Another boss. Yep. Ooh, wee, that scared me. Sam, thank you very much for that like. Appreciate you. Cheers. And the share. You're awesome, Sam. How you doing? Yeah, for sure thought that thing was alive. dead everywhere. Except for that one. This one. Got us a little treasure here. Oh, this wedding is horseshit.
We got quite the haul from that guy. Just didn't see it coming. Oh, what did that just look like? I didn't take a good look at it. Old Lords. Here it is. Extend spell effect duration. Well, that could be stupid good. Okay, on to what I assume is gonna be like one of the best uh, sentry knights in the game. Probably like the captain. that way. Everybody here just does so much damn damage, but uh, they don't produce the kind of runes you would think for some things that can do that kind of damage. guy's a bastard, I figured it out. This headset also just keeps, every time there's any kind of boom of noise, which is constantly in this game, 
it cuts out with just the choppiest volume and it's killing me. That's the only thing I'll say about most some wireless headsets. Sometimes the quality is complete garbage. But I thought my Astro A50s were insane. Uh, I don't think anything's ever been better than my Astro A50s. What the shit is that? Oh, now you can do that right out the gates? I thought he had to charge up for that shit. back here. I am super confused, but we'll take advantage. Every time he keys up that fire breath. Woo! See you later. Good night. Malformed dragon helm. Malformed dragon armor. It's probably insane stuff. Oh my god. He was just the boss protecting the boss. There's another boss. This is bullshit. I don't think he'll survive that drop. Okay, well, let's just go back and then we'll see whatever this boss is ahead. I've been waiting to fight this knight this whole time. Finally take him on, only turns out he's not even the big honcho. Let's just level up so we don't have to waste all these runes. Cool. enough it's probably not though eight six six forty one 
I don't want to do the math, but this should be pretty much it. Yeah. Over by 1300 or so. Perfect. Now I can feel safe. Let's do this thing. Whoever it is in here. Finally running the Mikwella. Jeez. The beast clergyman from the fort. Put you down once before, not twice. What's that? Oh, death. Become my blade once more. Who are you talking to? What did you just do? Don't like that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Don't like this at all. I never fed you those death roots. I wonder if the death roots have any effect on this battle and its strength. Jesus. It's permanent health loss. Oh, they're dropping. Oh, no. DJ, thank you very much for the light. How are you doing? His armor is freaking awesome, uh, but his movements are what's insane. Oh, my health's not even all the way full? No, we're not doing that. That's what I'm talking about, full health only. Alright, he got lucky though, his first try. The rule of three. But, if you don't know the rule of three in this channel, it's first round, I don't know the moves, so I put in a good fight, but I get my ass kicked. Second fight, I really put a dent in their health, and it looks like I could win. Third try, I get him. This time, I put a huge dent in his health first. I've got him. So I should 
should get him in two. I should get him this round. Let's go, baby! Why is something always worse seem to keep happening? Be Elden Lord yet. You betcha. Yeah, a lot of remembrances here late. And no tower guys to use them on. Maybe that's on purpose. You gotta get all the way through the end of the game twice. Now we're in.
That'd be nice. Let's test it. Nothing. Oh, awesome. I've uh, been thinking that for a while, but I have not taken the time to figure out how to turn that off. We'll go back to that grace, start from there. But first, let's go back to here and find out what the remembrance will give us. Oh, is this like the great two fingers? I never knew what that was for the longest time. Power gleaned from the remembrance of Malakath. Caster creates an illusionary black blade, then leaps forward to deliver a spinning splash that emits a wave of light. This can be followed up with one additional attack. This blade was once imbued with destined death. In addition to its dealing damage, it reduces both maximum HP and continues to sap their current HP for a very short time. Or Malakas Black Sword. It's a colossal sword. Malakas Black Blade, which once harbored the power of the Rune of Death. A sad shadow of its former glory. After a fragment of death was stolen on the fateful night, Malakath found the blade within his own flesh, such that none might ever rob death again. Unique skill, Destined Death, set free the remnants of Destined Death, plunging the greatsword into the ground to summon a myriad of blades. In addition to dealing immediate damage, this attack reduced the enemy's HP and continues to wear it down for a short time. I think this move sounds the coolest, but... I don't know when I'll be able to use either one. Shit, I can get his armor? Shit, okay. 10, 15, 25, 35, 45. I don't know if I have that much. Just kidding, I guess I do. Now we can get in this hole right here that we couldn't get into before. The man cover or whatever, man hole. All right, give me uh, 30 seconds. I'm gonna run back to the bathroom quick and then we'll be right back and continue our journey through the castle. Here All right. So now that we've conquered three and a half bosses today, because I count that first dragon that had absolutely no health, um, 
I'd say, what else could the game throw at us that would be that terrible? We've dominated the hardest challenges it could have thrown at us so far. good it all looks. I've been trying to get that for a very long time. I really want to explore because, like, there's not much exploring to be done. Crazy that the whole capital city's been reduced to ash. And also, like, why? Just because the tree's on fire? There's just like that much ash coming down off of the tree. I think I saw one item off in the distance, basically straightforward here. This is a small branch from the tree, by the way. Come out, Lord, guys. I feel like I'm missing a couple big bosses, though. Mikola. Who are the all the lords? It was Godric the Grafted, Mikola, Melania. To the other two twins. So there's two twins. I guess Mikola. Oh, Mikola and Rainy. Ronnie. There's something weird up top. Like a heartbeat or a flap. Wing flapping. I don't know if we could have taken on Ronnie early on, either way. I'm curious when she's gonna make her appearance. That's what that noise is.
I fault your easy pickings. Uh oh. Blame the devs. Something's happening now. He's just showing off his moves. Very scary. Shares. Hell yeah, buddy. Thank you. Uh oh. Ooh, cheers to that as soon as I killed this guy. Ten thousand runes? You were ten thousand runes and no item cheers by the way. Thank you very much, buddy. That's an atrocity. Also how poorly my headset is uh working today is also an atrocity. Do you say, huh? So there's no way to walk out of this pit, huh? That's alright. A little annoying, but that's alright.
Ooh, there's stuff on the rooftop. Gotta get it. Somehow. <laughs> Could there be a more pitiable comedy? Look at it. The common glad I found him of perfection. Do you make a man's sword or sorcery? Before our very eyes. Um <laughs> Well I can't necessarily make a recommendation either one. What I will say is I find sword to be more fun and it's definitely more challenging. But sorcery will put the game on easy mode. You, I find the master was nothing more enchanted. So, um, if you don't want to struggle much, sorcery. If you don't mind a little struggle, a little grind, um, sword. I did the beginning up to the first boss, the first major boss. Um, with each starting class to see how different styles played and magic, sorcery, all that stuff I was amazed at how easy it was you never have to get close you just let your spells do the work um, and that's fine there's a lot of people that like playing that way and uh you can feel good because you can say how quickly you beat bosses compared to other people who are like, that thing took me 20 tries. What are you talking about? Um, and there's a spell maybe halfway through the game that's literally a boss killer. Yeah, sorcery bosses will die pretty easily without summons. Otherwise, with swords, you kind of need summons to, at the very least, distract the enemy while you fight it. So, it just depends on the way you want to play, to be honest. If you like the challenge, if you don't. Um, I know there's people who like to do archery builds, not many of them, but there are. They're pretty fun. And with sword, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. There's, I mean, a bajillion types. And they're all kind of grouped up here. So we got katanas, great sword, curved great swords, um, curved swords, thrusting swords, heavy thrusting swords, colossal swords, um, great swords, straight swords, daggers. And the, some of those daggers are fucking bomb, by the way. Um, so don't count them out. I think these colossal great swords would be a lot of fun. Like a guts build. Is that the master? Yeah, I agree, Ryan. I prefer the up close and personal. I think it's just more fun. You way more swords than staff too. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's I think they're fun. Um, if I was just standing back casting ah, spells, not getting hit. I knew you'd come to stand before the Elden Ring. Gideon? I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us that we continue to struggle.
buddy. If you go up that way, you can't get here. I wonder what happens when you go up that Coliseum. There was definitely um, the path to still go up there. I'm gonna hit this quick and then I'm gonna go back and check it out. But man, almost the Lord right now. Gideon, honestly, I thought he was gonna be way more powerful. He was super underwhelming for me. So I need to kill a god, he says. Oh my god, I can't believe I made that. Why isn't anybody left? Oh, I could have got out this way. I didn't even see this. Right, let's check out the Colosseum quick, make sure there's nothing there, and we'll become a god ourselves. Nice jump, thank you, thank you. I honestly was sweating really bad when I made that jump. Now, maybe I missed it in the lore, and maybe somebody else gets it, but why did killing the clergy beast man or whatever... What, what about him? Because he had a piece of death in him or something? Suddenly set the tree on fire more. I mean, it was on fire before, but it wasn't like crazy on fire. Now it's insane. And I just don't get why. You didn't give him a chance to cast any spells. Yeah, damn right I didn't. Maybe those spells would have been really good. I don't know. I'm, I'm not jinxing it. I'm not chancing it. Okay, so there's nothing here. You never know. If I skipped it, there'd be something great. That's pretty much how it goes. Can't skip anything because you never know what you'll miss. Okay. That's right, I'm back, baby. Let's go. I'm gonna be shocked if I managed to beat this already today. I did not expect that. I'd be this close. There's a lot of open space sometimes. Oh, God, yeah. Which I like, except for... Which, I mean... I don't know. I'm gonna say, except for that it takes so long to travel... But at the same point, that's one of the things that makes the game so awesome. So much to do. Urtree Heal, let's check it out. I actually have a lot of uh, magic I should check out. Boulder kind of sucks. So I can do that gavel. I got a lot of stuff I can do, actually.
This is the main thing, 36 fate. So far away. Okay, Urchery heal. Vastly heals HP for self and nearby allies. 42. Can't do that. Where's my faith at? Oh, one of my lowest ones. Getting so many screenshots, you don't even know. I don't even know what I'm gonna use for a thumbnail. I have infinitely good screenshots. Oh, what do we got going on here? Who be this? Laquella? It's gotta be. The last one in my way. It's been a long while, Morgo. Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. You're welcome. You can call me Lord now. Alas, I am returned. He's got him by the hip and the shoulders. Is this the first Elden Lord? To be granted audience once more. As Godfrey, can't remember too many gods. The first Elden Lord. Should be easy. actually just walk right back up in the door although I should have leveled up I didn't realize that I had 200,000 some runes so just in case we're gonna put a branch on <laughs> Steven we're gonna beat his ass Save the rooms, save the rooms.
I tried to heal. I was pressing the date. Whoa, what happened? I thought I won or lost. Can I take him to halftime with blue damage? That will be all. Thou didst me good service. Sirosh. I've given thee courtesy enough. I'm boned. Now I fight just horror. Long fight. Is that maybe the first time that's ever happened? I died in a boss battle, but he also died at halfway, so we went through the cutscene just for me to immediately die again right afterwards. Has that happened before? Is that a thing? Can that happen? <laughs> well, clearly it can't. I've never seen that happen to anyone before. That might be, uh, that might be the clip of the night. <laughs> I may have just achieved the impossible. I think I was the first, hell yeah. Half nothing if to looteth. So let's get this bread. Almost got him to half again. It's happened again! Twice! Twice I'm dead going into this cutscene and it will die the moment the cutscene is over back to back. I might be the first, but I'm getting goddamn good at it. <laughs> Cheers.
Not bad being the first and second to do something. That guy just got sent! Holy shit! I gotta do this. Boom! Elden Lord right here. You're looking at him. think it's not over yet it's not over yet they gave me a bunch of runes and a remembrance i don't feel safe but i'm pretty sure you need to send those clips into somebody i think so too but who but where oh well you're pretty much dead Was it the ashes of war? They lose a mighty war cry, raising attack power while sending out a shockwave that cannot be guarded against um, by stomping the ground while activating strong attack uh, becomes a lunging slash. Weapon of Godfrey Elden Lord. It was broken in a battle fought as leader of the Tarnished during the Long March. The weapon is symbolic of Godfrey's vow to conduct himself as a lord. Later become an emblem of the golden lineage in the days of the past. A crown was warranted with strength. Well. Can't use that, so... I guess the ashes? Oh, and also... Yes! Good job. Thank you, thank you. Woo! I got a lot of clips to make. I don't know when I'm going to have time to put all these out there. But geez, almost made it to 200 on this playthrough. Made it up to 190. That's crazy. Let me tell you, Ryan, you said the one time that 150 was OP. Man, I'm 190, and that's not even. Oh, not bad. Okay, get rid of these messages. Is this another boss fight, or what? Taste the golden liquid. <sighs> the 
fuck is that? A rune arc? Is that McQuill? I've been waiting for this. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I'm your new Elven Lord, if you could just get out of the way quick. That'd be great. Oh. Sir? Radigan. Coming in for the save. Yeah, let's fuck him up. Yeah. Yeah. Travis, thank you for the life. What the hell is this now? Is this like the tree coming to life? If I was the tree, I'd be pretty pissed off too. Jeeps. Source of wings and hands made of a uh, nervous system and smoke. I 
Yes. Oh, Mikola is just a background character. Okay, so Mikola never actually makes any more than the appearance of her arm, his arm falling out of that sack. That's good enough, so I didn't miss anything. Maybe fighting Ronnie if that's a thing, but I feel like you don't want to. She's supposed to just be this. I just saw somebody going in there with a mushroom crown, which is what I had for the longest time. It was the Mushroom Lord. I'm wondering if I can beat... Ah. hesitated thinking about whether or not I should summon that thing or not. I think the Mimic got absolutely shit-rocked by the Elden Beast, and I think that's going to happen whether I summon him early or late. So it's better that I use it against Radigan to make that an easier fight. And I have more healing. Um, and I can do a more prolonged one-on-one -on -one fight against the Beast. It's basically worthless going into this fight.
Run, 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 run. some major Elden Beast ass. Literally, at the ass. And then... I didn't realize that rain of holy was about to come straight down on me. Jeez. That was utter insanity. Alright. Third try is the charge against the Elden Beast. To be fair. To be fair. The Radigan instant death doesn't count. Kind of got to be real aggressive against Radigan. Smart, safe, but definitely aggressive. The faster you get him out of the picture, the better. and then stopping for a second hit it stop but he did not turn around not at all he knew the one to kill it was me okay fourth time fifth times the charm now rat again it's not a problem He's gotten me twice, but... That's about it. That mimic was not gonna take no more shit. We're not gonna take it. No, we're not gonna take it. He's gonna take it. Gonna take that tea bag. Elden Ring or something like that. Woo! 
lot of stamina needed to get thrown away just to get to this fucking thing. Oh god, there's more! Anyone survive this? I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. This is like fucking the movie 300. His arrows are gonna block out the sun. As close as I'm getting him, he's just so good. And his moves evolve and get stronger as the fight goes along, as you would expect. And it's just something else. Alright, if I'm far enough away, I'll try some bow and arrow action, some cold arrows, see if that helps. Maybe my dog shit headset will keep uh, killing my ears. I swear there's some days where it's just perfect the whole time and I never notice that it's dog shit. There's days like today where it won't work the whole time no matter what. We're sitting pretty good into this now. Yeah, fuck that jar. Cheers. so well. Weak is a interesting term. I don't think this global of here is as strong as this. Is. Ah! 
Come on, mini me. Let's go. in remembrance. God slayed. Ah. Well, now obviously I can do whatever I want at this point. Victory hype! Let's go! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, so now that I've beaten it, I'm gonna go see what I can get with the remembrance. See what's going on at the round table. Talk to everybody. Thank you, thank you guys. Woo! That was a challenge. Marika's hammer or the sacred relic sword. Let's see what they say. Sword wrought from the remains of a god who should have lived an eternal life. A life eternal, sorry. Thoughts on what the weapon portends? I've never heard the word portends. Are many and varied. Some consider it the mark of great sin or a great uh, or sign of great devastation. Some think it is the end of an age, while others the beginning. Wave of gold imbue the sword with bygone glory, uh, golden glory, then fired at foes. A wide golden wave fans out forward. I've seen people using this. It's like got infinite range. It's insane. Stone hammer made in the lands of the Newman outside the lands between the tool with which Queen Marika shattered the Elden Ring and Radigan attempted to repair it. The hammer partially broken upon shattering the ring, becoming splintered with rune fragments. I kind of thought that's what it looked like. Anyway. Unique skill, Gold Breaker. Leap up high and while suspended in midair, imbue the rune shard with light uh, before smashing it down hard on the ground. The heroic Radigan signature attack. We're going, sword. Is it a great sword? Oh shit, and I can use it right away? It doesn't even take much to use? I see. You're here. You know, I'm just here to tell you that I'm your lord now. It's weird to me. What do, what do I need that for? Mish! Thank you for the like, buddy. How are you doing? Could you tell me Jeez. what happened? Why is the round? Why does that go? Yeah, well, no saving him, I guess. So the round table must be inside the tree, right?
Nothing here where he used to be. Okay, cool. No problem. Let's finish this. Summon Ronnie? Ah, I don't know if I want to. Okay, hold on. I need to I need to have an informed decision here. Instead of touching the item that leads to the Elder Lord ending um use a summon sign to summon Ronnie and that gives you the age of stars ending. And this ending Ronnie ushers in a new age governed by the moon. Apparently sweeping away the golden order and it's rule over the lands. Nah, you know what? This is about me. Also, I want to see what this does. Yeah, I've seen people do that shit before. That is insanity. That's why I had to pick it. I don't think I really care about the difference. So this one is the Felker's is the dung eater one for versus his curse which would otherwise infect everyone and all their generations for eternity like a never-ending std mending rune of death prince don't know what that exactly is yeah let's just do me right so death a must be leaves. that makes sense tell a story of how a tarnished became elden lord in our home across the fog the lands between Our seed will look back upon us and recall an age of fracture. <clears throat> but five and one is doing them all legendary armaments can't believe i didn't do that talismans can't believe i didn't do that either and then these must be two different endings i know one is the frenzied flame or the three finger one don't know what the other is could even be a boss i missed I'd still be playing this for part of the week, but maybe not. Maybe we'll be moving on. We'll, uh, we'll see. I do have 
your PS1 cleaned out over the weekend on Sunday. If anyone didn't see, I put a post out on that. Took it apart. First time I've ever refurbished a console. And let's say I was extremely scared the whole time messing with... I looked up the earliest year my model came out was 98. So a 24-year-old console. Never mess with 24-year-old tech. So I might break out the PS1. Can't guarantee that uh, it won't be perfect or without freezes or that it'll start every time. But I do have a few possible games to play, so uh, I might be putting a poll out tonight for different games that I'm uh, itching to get back into play and see what people think. See what we're uh, itching to see. So far, I know Ape Escape's gonna be one. Uh, Spyro the Dragon's gonna be one. Cloud Cleaning Not Refurbished. Refurbished sounds cooler though, doesn't it? I, uh... Did a lot of work on it. Took it all apart and everything. Looked up uh, how to do it all, because it's not necessarily hard that you have to look it up, but man. It's a lot. Ryan, why you got to shit on my parade here? Just cleaning. Come on, man. Felt like I did a lot. I did spend a lot of time on it. Because there's a lot of uh, little stuff you got to do. A little bit of rust in there, too, on some of the stuff, but you can't really... Uh, it makes it sound like it's been rebuilt. It just wasn't shitty enough that it needed to in the first place. I was surprised I kept as good a care of it as I did, considering I was a child. And I see how children treat most of their stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's surprising. But it's looking good. To do Ape Escape, Spyro, Resident Evil... Um, I don't know if Crash 2 in there. I don't even know how I got that game. Uh, but I never beat that one, so I don't know that one. Like, I know the others. So it's not much of a... Not as nostalgic for me. It is for a lot of other people. Glad you got it up and running. Fair enough, I'll take that. I took it from not working to working, we'll say that. If there's a happy medium. Um, the game I really wanted to play won't work. I don't know if it's because the discs are that scratched up. Or if the fingerprints are on it. So I've got some microfiber cloths. I got coming. I have some around here, but I don't know how clean they are. You gotta use microfiber cloths and iso isopropylical. Propylical? Um, that's not the right word, but you know what it is. If you know, you know. Uh, alcohol. Try to wipe off some of the fingerprints. Apparently, I was just grabbing it like a fucking lobster, uh, and see if I can clean that off. See if that'll work. If not, I've seen you can buffer. You can literally take a oh, buffer piece on a drill, and you put um, polish, car polish on a disc. And you buffer it off because apparently a disc has like four layers. Um, from the top down, it's like the label plastic, and there's the aluminum that has all the data in it, and then a larger layer on the bottom, which is what you look at when you flip it upside down, it's polycarbonate, clear piece over the black or silver or blue disc. Um, and you can buff that so far down, so long as you don't hit the aluminum layer, that's what the deep scratch is, just ruin it permanently. But what it's trying to do is the laser's trying to read through that polycarbonate to the aluminum layer, and the scratches are in the way it causes issues. So you can buff off so much of the layers, but you can only do it like one or two times on a disc before it's just done so. So I think being that I've never done it before and no disc is deep, they're all very light very light. Looks like uh, carpet scratches. Like I threw it against the carpet or something. Or tried to use a 
shitty old 2000s disc cleaner or something. So I'm going to maybe try some things and see if I can get the ones that don't work at all to work. That's why I got an N64, not a PlayStation, because my mom knew I would have scratches on the cr scratch the crap out of the disc. Well, it's a fair call. I don't think most people knew about scratching of discs back then or cared that much. Parents didn't really know much. No, they had fucking cassette tapes their whole lives. Well, my generation anyway. So, discs were the new thing. And I'm glad I got a PlayStation. I mean, I got tons of good memories out of it. The games um, were amazing. The hardware was better and everything at the time. The only couple downsides were discs being scratchable and having to get a separate, I can't remember what it's called, but splitter piece to have four players. N64 nailed having the four players on there. It did have a ton of classics. I love it. I have one too. I played uh, Resident Evil 2 on my N64 on stream last March probably not this last one but 2021 um, so I don't really know what else is going to work on a PS1 or what's going to work all the way through I just know Ape Escape and Spyro were looking real good um, I think I tried another game I can't remember what it was but it worked. and Legend of Dragoon the game I've been talking about forever that I've been really wanting to play is the one that doesn't work a four disc game i even put the fourth disc in because i'm like how often could i have been on the fourth disc you know still wouldn't work so that was a sham but all its fails i might even buy another copy So if I say no, what happens? I just get to wander this place and do whatever I want. But realistically, there's nothing to do. The hollow. just me this happened to. To think he'd forget who you were as well. I knew he'd burn himself out. Old Hugh. I think we could talk him into leaving the round table hold now. But maybe it's only proper that we pers- I'll remain with you. He made me. I'd like to return the kindness. No, let's see if he'll leave. Definitely Maybe we can make him leave now. Nah. Alright, let's see, uh... Let's see what happens. I've seen a lot of people do this, and I'm just curious how strong this sword is. So there's this whole wave of guys right here, right? That was bonkers. How dare you strike a lord. This thing's kind of fun. 
You can make a lot of runes this way, huh? Uh, I get why I see people do it. Ah, uh, you can't come back here now. I can't pick up my zero runes. I don't know if there's very much to do after you become Elden Lord before starting a new game. Plus, but let's see if there really is. Elden Ring, Nap Fragments, Gold Seeds, all 12 Sacred Tears. I'm pretty sure I have that. Yep, plus 12. As many Larval Tears as possible. But, like, not really. Who cares? Swordstone Keys, Crystal Tears, all unique ancient Dragon Smithing Stones and Somber Stones, Great Glove Warts. I think I've done all that. Use the walking mausoleums to duplicate as many remembrances as you can. Locate all the legendary spells, weapons, ashen remains, talismans if you want to use them. Or if you're attempting to... Oh! I guess I shouldn't because... I need to really find out. Sometime I'll do it off stream if I'm bored. The legendary armaments and talismans that I'm missing. I might not be able to get all the armaments because of remembrances. Farm late game areas to get a lot of runes. Exhaust those runes and purchase levels. Use the expansive resources and opportunities available to make the best possible. Excuse me, build your character. Clear any NPC quests and kill any bosses you're interested in doing. Done all that. Okay. Well, that's that. It was a good stream. We uh, beat the game. I'll put out a poll tonight or tomorrow sometime, eventually, um, and see what PS1 game we should play because I don't think I'd have really anything crazy. Ended at 192 at 115 hours. Not bad anything crazy I want to come back to on this I do think this war zone thing with uh, King Kong versus Godzilla on the map is insane looking um, otherwise there's nothing crazy that I'm itching to get into maybe that Lego Star Wars game is insanely popular right now but nah I've already been beating those for 15 years or more since PS2 so there's nothing out right now that I'm itching to play yeah let's get those updates rolling but all right hey Thanks, guys everybody um, we had 15 reactions. It was a pretty good amount. I think a lot of people were in here watching, um, especially in those past couple boss battles, which was all boss battles today. I, what did I do? Like six or seven or eight? It was a lot. Um, I don't even know. Um, question of the night, once again, was what is the capital city of India? Is it Mumbai, New Delhi, Calcutta, or Trinidad? Um, let me know if you got the right answer. Feel free to put it in the comments here on Facebook or on YouTube after the fact. Um, so let's do some shout outs quick for all you great people. Uh, William Dodge, thank you for the like and share. William Harris, thank you for the like. Ryan Montgomery, thank you for the like and chatting along like always. Michael Payne, thank you for the like. Zach Ward, thank you for the like. 
Love Bond, thank you for the like. Uncanny, thank you for the like. And the 100 stars. Peanut butter jelly time, my man. Um, Kayla, thank you for the like. Steven Fullerton, thank you for the like and chatting along with us as well. Mike, thank you for the like and chatting. Sam, thank you for the like and share. TJ, thank you for the like. Ryan Montgomery, thank you for the share as well. I don't think you do that very often, so that's awesome. Travis, thank you for the like and drop some comments. Mitch, thank you for the like as well. Appreciate all of you guys. Um, the answer to the question tonight is actually New Delhi. New Delhi. I might have got that wrong. I might have guessed Mumbai, which I don't I don't know if that's even in India. I haven't looked it up. So anyway, like I said, fantastic night. Became the Elden Lord. Um, really four achievements left. If I could find the last of the talismans and the armaments, um, there's got to be maybe like one left of each for me to be missing it and having done basically everything in the game. Um, and then the last two achievements are secret, so it could be a boss. I know one, the frenzied finger ending, but I'm probably not going to go through all the way again and do that just because it was 115 hours to beat the first one. Just an insane amount of time this game takes to beat it in nearly its entirety, clearly, um, without doing all the endings. So, um, very excited to have gone through and done that. Such a beautiful game, such a great game. Um, the mechanics and everything are just absolutely nailed down. Not a lot wrong with it. Not very much that's glitchy or um, anything that's going to screw you over too bad. I mean, one time, one time, I had my runes in the whole 115 hours in a place that was ungrabbable on the side of a cliff, basically, and I died and lost them all. That was really frustrating. Um, but that's about it. It's only one time it really kind of glitched out in a way that really pissed me off. Otherwise, I got to say, it's one of the most perfect games that's come out at launch in years it's the most complete game i've seen in a very long time i didn't know games like that came out and to take so much time look so good be such a challenge and everything it was just the best um so if anyone has not played it i highly recommend getting and playing elden ring if you have not beat it don't give up grind it out it's worth it getting to that throne at the end feels great it feels amazing so uh, we'll be back on tomorrow. Don't know what we'll be playing. Um, I've got like 12 clips from tonight to make. So it'll be a good time. Uh, yeah, Ryan, I'm sure there is some DLC on its way. Probably take a while. I don't know if I'll come back to play it. Probably get knee deep into something else. And um, who knows? I know the quarry. Let me see. When is that coming out? The quarry's coming out in like... A week or two? Daniel Hatter, thank you for the like, buddy. Cheers. Kaiser, how's it going? Good to see you back. I was the 297, 298, don't remember. KQ. <laughs> well, congratulations, congratulations. Um, let's see. Let's see what is coming out soon. Oh, this is Game Pass. How do I end up on Game Pass? Game Pass probably has some good things on there. Um, games coming soon. My Little Pony. The first thing Xbox put up. It's interesting. Forty dollar game. Comes out. Uh, Comes out in three days if anyone's super interested in My Little Pony. It's always an option. Congrats, bud. Sheesh. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. That uh, that final fight, that was something else. It was hard, but got through it. Only took five or six tries. I kept it single digits, but it was a good time. Um, six, nine. Hilarious date, by the way. The quarry comes out on 6-9. It's like a horror story game. David Arquette, the guy who's the sheriff and all the uh, um, Scream movies, is the sheriff in this game. Basically, kind of looks like a slasher film game. So that'll be interesting. It comes out on a Thursday. So maybe we'll play that. Maybe come out on the weekend or something and beat it. 
Because it can't be that long. It's probably like a five-hour game. Sonic Origins coming out soon. Shadowrun Dragonfall. Don't know what that is. Could be interesting. Um, what else is there coming out? Gotham Knights could be interesting. And Stalker 2 all the way in Christmas. Hopefully there's some like surprise releases around E3 time coming out. There usually is, right? There's usually E3. Which one is that? Did it already happen? They don't do it anymore, do they? They just release stuff. That's right. COVID pretty much killed E3. So we'll see. Maybe there'll be some sudden releases of something great, and I'll switch to that. But um, for the meantime, we'll do some PS1 classics, since we got it running, and then we'll do uh, the quarry and see where we go from there. So until next time, stay fresh, cheese bags. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for uh, all your likes, your shares, your comments. Um, the follows for anyone new, we hit 300, and that's amazing over the weekend. I uh, appreciate everybody. We'll see you guys on tomorrow, 6 to 9 Central Standard Time. Um, so until then, have a good night. Thank <laughs> you.